monitoring this. It looks better than it did before, but... we understand who we are. I mean, I'm looking at the uh, the waves on the Pokemon mm -hmm. Center, and it looks okay-ish. Uh, we're now into Team Select. So we've got, as you know, the same team for uh, for Team Team Name. And what have we got? We've got Bronzor, Sligoo, uh, Baby Thing. What is that? Oh, it's a baby gastrodon. Yeah, baby ah. gastrodon. I don't remember what it's called. Shellos, thank yeah. you. Uh, Ferrothorn, Rhydon, and Hippodos. Oh, uh, we have the hippo. Okay. Can we start Hippodos. Hippodos. Hippodos has such a big nose. <laughs> Why does it not work? Good job, Brian. Ha, ha, ha. Dynamotor. <laughs> yes, and if you can hear it, our member Brian is very vocal about his uh, Pokemon playing. Right, his, his lack of knowledge <laughs> about Pokemon playing. It's great playing. to see such vigor it's for the great. novices. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's having fun. That's what it's all about, right? Mm -hmm. Laughter. It's Four great. Damage. <laughs> Four damage. Four being damage. Done. Well, you words know. to live by. Do you guys wear matching jackets on purpose? I, I always no. wear this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Is that bread? Or it's the black too. The, oh. All right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try something to see if this helps. Let's see if taking away all of our nice other things <laughs> make the world a better place. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Alright, so we oh. see Trick Room. This is the first first time we've seen that today. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. I thought about it. <laughs> so, uh, Trick Room's gonna be the next big thing here. Yeah, no, it's, it's, Said 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Turn what offs? One second. Okay, well, we just missed a freeze. That's cheating. Uh, that's not cheating. Pretty ridiculous. Uh oh. I survived. Okay, that's something. Yeah, we got that working for us. Right on's living on a prayer here. Yeah, it is still in the game, though. Uh, yeah, alright, sorry, there's just a lot of things going on at once, folks. Sorry about that. So, we're back in this battle. We've got a frozen Rhydon, we've got a partially damaged Porygon, <laughs> Gabite and Bronzor. Porygon retreating for double aid. Oh, I should have told you to use that thing. Ooh! Well, Light screen. I mean, I mean, so there's some real setup coming on uh, on the side of Team Clamperl. It's gonna miss. Oh, no, okay. Hmm. Okay. Right on, so right on goes down. down. But, 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 um, Watch. 
Thanks, Mike Hackies. We're using OBS. It's a free solution for streaming. Uh, and uh, for the 3DS, we are using a capture card. Okay. So oh, wow. Okay. So I guess it's just our own stream that's like, wow. Well, I feel embarrassed to have kind of messed with you guys to be trying to fix our own problems then. But uh, if you guys say it's not lagging, then we'll take your word for it. Yeah, so first time streaming for us for the club, so learning lessons everywhere. So let's get back. What do we have? So we have Ferrisite and Bronzor. Uh, Ferrisite replacing the Frozen Rhino that was knocked out. Dill Blade, we've seen several times before. And, uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is three, three steel types. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I, I was actually, I was expecting someone to do some uh, Ferris Seed Normal Gem Cheese explosions, but uh, exploding into a field of steel types, not... What happens when there's a communication error between the games? Maybe because you went too far away. I don't know. That was success. I don't know, but... It's whatever time you're... Oh. <laughs> Alright, so everybody's going to be a bit tired. It's now almost 10.30. We see Shellos coming out. Uh, I'm going to deal with the ruling question. Yeah, Nick's got to go deal with the ruling question. Right. Cheryl and Steven. We see... I'm going to take the chair. Cheryl's going to take the chair. Are you sure I'm not going to die? Yeah, you surprised. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Minimal damage. Um, and what will do Blade do? This little shell is here. Big turn coming up here. Yeah, right, right. What, what I mean is, we're only down one Pokemon. Teams are discussing their strategies. Yeah. It is Valentine's Day. No, it is Valentine's Day. Stephen, do you have a date for Valentine's Day? I do. It is a hockey game. Oh, yeah. that's great. Are you taking a date to the You're hockey team? <laughs> He's dating team. the entire hockey team? Yes, folks. <laughs> it's impressive. It's just, how'd you, how'd it's you just do that, that one? kind of life. <laughs> well, it's a long story, Cheryl. I'm not willing to tell it here, but... We can just both say that we admire your endurance. Yes. Well, <laughs> You know what else would be great? If this team would pick their move. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Pharisee's okay. coming out, yep. which is yes. good, because they couldn't really do much against these two guys anyway. <laughs> and he puts in the hippo, getting him some sand up. Look how big those nostrils are. He does have big nostrils. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And a sacred sword. Sword, not that much. And a muddy water, which is what I expected that little shell to do. It's not going to do too much. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. And now the room has ended. We don't need it. We don't need to wait. Did you not expect wait a second? And the sandstorm still rages, Cheryl. The sandstorm is still raging. I did not know I didn't know that. It's either like it's either split or focus. I didn't notice that. Who is that? Is there a hole in its back as well? Yeah. Yeah. Kind, of, kind of like a tiny little dolphin. It looks like a third Right. Wow. Oh, and we have our uh, in house expert, Nick, back. How are we doing? Pretty much, we're just everyone switched out and nothing. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Right. We got weather up, and pretty much that's it. It's going to do two crits that are times five. What's your record? All right, so there we go. And, and down. <laughs> that was a game changer. Sacred Sword on Hippotus. 
You guys could all start. You guys could all start. Could all start. Tie. I know that's what we're talking about. Pretending to be cocky when I really don't. Tie. Yes. And the leftovers. All right, that little show is sticking around. Show is still full HP. Yeah. Oh wow, and they reflect up too. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, that's not like you forgetting that happens. Alright. Okay, so trick ended and now the screens are not up. Five five, this is definitely the most even battle. This is. Mm -hmm. All these Pokemon don't take sand damage. No, I know. It's a, like the why does the sand even matter? It does not. It's a shadow sneak. Does oh my god. Oh my god. All right, we will outreach oh hit. Uh -oh. oh my god. Mr. Hippo oh my god. did quite a bit. <laughs> oh my god. And a crunch oh for a knockout. And that'll do for do play. Well, then, oh, it's just an old nice beam. Is it? Okay. Oh, it's nice. No. Oh, oh and it lives four with four. left. Wow. Wait, oh, yeah. Okay. Um. And does he get buffeted by the sandstorm? Yeah. No. He does not. He's he does proud. not. Buffeted by the sandstorm. <laughs> buffeted. <laughs> buffeted. <laughs> I see what you guys did there. I know what to do. This is a wow. timer. I know what to do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like paralysis. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna fade. Right <laughs> paralysis. Okay. Pretty lucky though. Yeah. All depends on that local dialect. Yeah. You say potato. I say paralysis. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love that cold water. And just a reminder, with that time limit, we only have five minutes left in this battle. All right. So Porygon Trace Sandstream. So. So we know his turn is actually pretty uh, straight You almost <laughs> lost the battle. <laughs> oh yeah, because yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Oh, okay, okay. With Drew. okay with so Royal and Steve are very excited. Uh, oh, and up comes a Pharisee. Okay. <laughs> and it's a double switch. Oh. Bronze oh, the bronze ore comes back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I use is that going to hit C? Yeah, yeah. 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 it's not going to be bronze ore. At all. Still. Okay, this is Where are you going to recover it? Good call. Because of the network, right? <laughs> no, it's actually running at full speed. It's and fine. It's yeah, the, the commenters um, have all said that there's just not a noticeable drop in the frame rate. So it's actually just the It's just podium. this podium. It's been winning battles. Lagging. That's the voice of our president, yeah. Andres Morales. But that's not surprising to anybody. The question is, what do I do? Um, no. I think. So. There's, uh, there's still at least so, one more outrage left. Yeah. Right, which means 50% chance it's going to hit Farathon. Not much really happened. Also, 50% 50 50 chance that it'll hit Bronze Ore, so. It's a game of percentages. Yeah. That means no. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you gotta just take, take your best shot. Uh, card players know that yes. there's lots of cards out there where you just flip the coin and hope that you get heads and you win the game. And then you get tails and you lose the game and you, you bubble on top of But you know, sometimes that's just how the game works. For 11. You got time for Oh crap, Thank you, Tony. Quick reminder about time to the Yeah, players. we do have time. Could become a factor very soon. Alright, so the switch for Gurner. Percy protected. That's actually a really interesting choice because now if he gets hit with Outrage, it actually will do the spikes damage. Well, it's confused. But Gibbite is confused and the trickery is back up. And we're back in the trick room. So, Sand is over. Yeah, I mean, that guy still hanging around, but yeah. confused, and that's, that's tough, because I'm not sure, do you, do you switch out to get rid of the confusion, do you try to attack through the confusion? The tr trick room's up anyway, so... You won't get the You won't, yeah, it's probably, yeah. If he doesn't switch, he's dead. 
if he does switch, he does he's switch. Dead anyway. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You know, I will say this could be one of those situations where a normal jump explosion, or maybe even a double explosion, a double explosion. <laughs> would be Wait, great. we could go royal quadra kill. <laughs> I can't. He can't. <laughs> I know. But they both explode. So it doesn't matter. It's the one. This is easily one of the most entertaining battles. Yeah. The Pharisee getting switched up. Lost the table. I lost every match. I'm on five. Really? We tied. So Sand is back up. Yeah, my getting switched out. Sandstorm, Trick Room, Double Whammy. Shell gun coming back out. So, reflect. Wow, this oh, is just go for a very <laughs> defensive team. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, or fire punch. Let's slip the difference. Let's slip the difference. Okay. Nobody gets the Just enough to push it over the edge. All right. So, what's our count here? We're counting down here. <laughs> I guess yeah, we have 45 seconds. Yeah, one more turn in. This is it. This is yeah. Chaos. Alright, so it's about 15 minutes. If you are still playing, please check your timer. Pharisee comes back out. This is actually, this is so interesting there because we think back to that turn where Pharisee protected and didn't let Garchomp outrage on it and get KO. Yeah. Right, so we're now at 4-4. Yeah, this is 4-4. Four, four. In one of those cases where sometimes you make a choice that seems right in the moment and uh, it might actually even be right in the moment. But yeah. Time one of those moments to pick up and you just have to deal with it. And only 10 seconds remaining in this match. <laughs> this, is, this, is, well, the, this is the last turn. This is the last yeah. turn. They get to pick their moves and then whoever has the most Pokemon at the end of this last move pick round is, is the winner. So. so there's some thought going into this decision. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, basically we have tanks on the opponent's side and offense on the player's side. Uh, reflect, reflect up. <laughs> They're not bruisers. They're tanky attacks. The opponent is not bruisers. You can't possibly say that Runs or Andrea are Cedar Bruisers. For the snow tomorrow. No, Shogun and Snow. Oh. No, they're highly offensive. None of them are last handed. Yeah, they were pretty offensive. Alright, so Pharisee protecting. Protect. It's Runs or using Safeguard? Okay. Interesting. Protecting against any status conditions. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh. oh. Game changer. What? Is it a double no, target? It's a double target. <laughs> it's a double target. Oh. All right. It's time. All right. Yeah, we know. They just finished last turn. So. All right. So a super close 4-3 victory. Yeah. With. I don't think we could have done anything against that unless I used this double. That was a good match, guys. Team, team name. Edging uh, team, out. Team, team name. Team Clamperol. Yes. Really great battle. Yeah, Very no, entertaining. If I had no, like at the last turn, like. Oh, oh yeah. Like we didn't target Pharisee yeah. because we were just gonna protect him, oh. but we yeah. double predicted. Yeah, that's true. I was I was thinking, Royal, that maybe you guys were just gonna double explode, <laughs> and <laughs> it would have been hilarious. I, I guess in hindsight, I probably should.